Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's very small and important topic, quinolones and uh, fluoroquinolones. Okay, very small and very important also. So there was a second year guy, B Pharmacy second year guy, very enthusiastic and uh, he approached to a fourth year guy, fourth year uh, B Pharmacy student. So bro, bro, uh, what is the spelling of quinolones? What is the spelling of fluoroquinolones? He asked. Then that final year B Pharmacy student don't know the spelling. So, but he want to manage because he asked in front of all the students. So he want to manage. What he managed? You second year, you don't know the spelling. It is very simple spelling. You don't know really. Just go and refer immediately and you have to tell me within a 10 minutes. I will give you a 10 minutes. Like that he managed. See, this is the things are happening. That's why all the spellings and very, very importantly, you have to, you have to focus. Okay, right. We know loans. See the spelling. See, most of the students are very difficult to pronounce it itself. Remember, they are unable to remember the name. We know loan. Q. 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 Loan. Loan. L-O-A-N is a loan. But here, see the spelling. L-O-N-E-S. Q for loans. We know loans. Q loans. No loans. See here. Far. You remove the far and kept no. So, Q no loans. Q no loans. With all they are standing uh, on the floor for the loan purpose. Floor. See, floor. On the floor. Ground floor. They started. So, floor of no loan. Like that, you practice. We know loans. Floor of we know loans. Spellings are very, very important, my dear students. Right? See, this is my mobile app. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. After downloading, you go to the store option. See the pointer here? The store option. There I have arranged all my... Uh, PDF format, all my notes, all my presentations are nothing but PDF notes. Directly, the same things you can write in the examination without any doubts. Okay. Here I have arranged all uh, my PDF notes in the form of a uh, course wise B Farm C, Farm D, M Farm C, like that. Okay. And this is about my YouTube channel. Here you can go to the playlist option. There I have arranged all my explanation videos in the Subject wise, if you click on each subject, you will get a doubts. You can clear all the doubts and you can hear it. And, okay, all if you click on each subject, you will get a uh, topic wise. See, here also spelling mistake in the syllabus copy itself. Okay, quinolones, four quinolones. I will tell you how to correct this. In the syllabus itself, uh, there was a some printing mistake or technical mistake is there. See here, my dear students, quinolones, four quinolones. Why we are calling as a quinolone means here they have a quinolone structure. This structure is called as a quinolone. So if any compound consists of a structure of a quinolone, then you can say it is a quinolones. Quinolones. Okay, now, now fluoroquinolones. See the name itself indicates fluoro, fluorine, addition of the groups. What groups? Fluorine groups. Fluorine at sixth position. See here. Sixth position, we have added a fluorine. At seventh position, we have added a pipe resin ring. Pipe. Very pipe and ring. Pipe resin ring. Pipe plus ring. At seventh position. So sixth position, seventh position, we have added. So then you can say it is a fluoroquinolone. Ciprofloxacin is very, very excellent example for the fluoroquinolones. FQ in the short form. This is a quinolone. Nalidixic acid is very, very important. It is one and only the uh, quinolone drug. It is a synthetic, synthetic completely made in the lab, synthetic antimicrobial agent. Okay. It is not prepared from organism, synthetic. Okay. In the lab. And the old, these are the old generations, very old generations, acts mainly on the gram negative, limited spectrum, limited spectrum. Okay. Uh, high chances of development of a resistance, slow tissue penetration, very slowly it penetrates into tissue, low potency. Okay, it is having a quinolone structure. And the synthet this is also synthetic uh, antimicrobial agents, but these are the new generations. Inhibits the gram positive. See here, gram positive also. It is expanded, expanded spectrum also. Slow development of a resistance. Very good. Okay, better tissue penetration than when compared to this. High potency, addition of a groups at sixth position and seventh position. If you see this old generation example is for quinolones, nalidixic acid. Nal acid, null. Null means tap in Hindi, you know, 
Null. Null means water will come. So null it is acid will come now like that. Null. If you turn on the null, you will get acid. Null it is acid like that. You can remember. Practice is very important. So here first generation chloroquinolones, narfloxacin, ciprofloxacin, ofloxacin, pefloxacin. Second generation chloroquinolones, levofloxacin. Okay, lomifloxacin. Spark, sparkflaxacin, moxifloxacin, gamifloxacin, uh, prolifloxacin. Pruli like that, you have to be practiced number of times. So all quinolones and chloroquinolones having a same mechanism of action. Okay, it is a very wonderful uh, point for you because uh, it is need not to be worried about the different quinolones or different chloroquinolones have different structure. Means again, you have to be read. See, there was a a bumper discount for you. Very, very important discount. All quinolones and chloroquinolones having a same mechanism of action. It shows the two types of mechanism of action. See, mechanism of action one, mechanism of action two. Now, see here, I will tell you first. See the pointer. See the pointer. What, where I am showing. See, see there was a super coiled DNA in the bacteria. So, positively. Super coiled bacteria. This is a damaged DNA and it is a not good for a bacteria. As a process of a bacterial life, this uh, damaged DNA is a process of bacteria's life. So, what happened now? This damaged DNA generally repaired by the gyrase. See here, gyrase is an enzyme. Gyrase is an enzyme. It repairs the super coiled DNA and uh, it makes it relax. It uncoiled. So it is a good DNA. It is a good for bacteria. Good reflection will be there. Good replications will be there. So gyrase is just like a garage. Gyrase is nothing but a garage. It repairs the damaged DNA. This is the natural thing. Now, if you give a quinolins and fluoroquinolin, what happens? They decreases the DNA gyrase. This gy DNA gyrase will be uh, decreased. It will be killed by the quinolins and fluoroquinolin. So what happened? This super coiled damaged DNA will be there in the bacteria. So, bacteria will not be survived. That is the first point. Garage, first point. Garage means repairing. This garage, uh, garage will be damaged by the quinolones and chloroquinolones. That is the first mechanism of action. Right. Now, number two, topomerase. This is also seen here. Topomerase present here. Topomerase. This topo isomerase, what it do? Generally, bacteria is having a DNA. The DNA will be divided into each single, single strand. And that single strand is used for replication of another double coiled DNA. This single strand DNA also, again, it will be replicated for, used for the replication of another DNA. Like that multiplication, see here, DNA is uncoiled. It is divided into each, each single strand. Each single strand, again, it will be coiled by the, again, mRNA. So, topomerase is the splitting of the DNA into the single, single strand. That is the main job of the topo isomerase. Now, what happens is quinolones and isoquinolones, chloroquinolones, decreases the topomerase. So, replication is not possible. So, it will not be uh, divided into single strand. So, what happens automatically, DNA will be remain. That's it. So there is a no further development of the replication, no process of the replication. So it arrests the multiplication of the bacteria. Very, very important. So, okay, we will go for uh, nalidic acid. This, is, this comes under phenolols. It is a low potency. It is a oldest one, old generation. Nalidic acid, low potency. It is active against only gram negative, especially on the coliforms. E. coli. Uh, Klebsiella enterobacter protease. See, PRO. This is PRO protease. Not active against the pseudomonas. Rapid development of a resistance. That is the biggest problem. Pharmacokinetics, it absorbs orally. That's why the tablets are available. Suspension are also available because it is absorbed orally. High plasma protein binding excreted in the urine. Clinical uses is a urinary tract infection. See here. If you turn on the null, you will get a urine like that. You can remember. So urinary tract infection and also diarrhea. If diarrhea is caused by the protease E. coli, E. coli. See, coli, coli, uh, shigella, salmonella. Next side effects. 
very rarely see these are the side effects like a gastric upset uh, skin rashes uh, but all these are very rare contra indicated in the children don't give to the children dose is 0.5 to 1 gram thrice a day okay three times a day preparation is tablets and oral suspensions and ciprofloxacin very popular it is a more potent chloroquinolone it is first generation of chloroquinolone active against a broad range of bacteria most effective against the aerobic especially aerobic gram negative pharmacokinetics rapid oral absorption that's why tablets are available okay see here infusion is also available put to delay the absorption it undergoes the first pass metabolism and excreted through the urine preparations are available in the form of a tablets here you can see iv infusion eye drops ear drop for superficial infections and all we are using ciprofloxacin ciprofloxacin is highly uh, effective against the e coli all these are the uh, very sensitive to the ciprofloxacin these are the moderately sensitive these are the organism moderately sensitive to the ciprofloxacin and here you can see the low these are the organisms very low active uh, it is uh, they not susceptible to the bacteria you can say ciprofloxacin is unable to kill these organism okay it is mainly used for the urinary tract infection respiratory tract in all infection ciprofloxacin means infection keep in your mind uh, urinary tract infection respiratory tract infections so tb tuberculosis it is a lung infection see in the tb bone <coughs> bone infection wound infection brain meningitis i conjunctiva eye drops gonorrhea cancroid typhoid fever bacterial gastroenteritis like that these are the side effects of ciprofloxacin is nausea vomiting diarrhea cns confusion uh, insomnia headache dizziness you will get anxiety okay uh, my damage uh, may be damage the growing cartilage that is also one of the problem cartilage and uh, that's why we should not supposed to be give uh, for, uh, uh, that is nolytic case okay and uh, phototoxicity avoid the excess sunlight okay contra indications in children yeah this is also because growing cartilage will be damaged that's why it is a contra indicated in the children adolescents uh, why they may ask because of this cause uh, uh, is say uh, arrest the cartilage grow okay and uh, drug interactions iron and iron or antacids containing a magnesium calcium or aluminum reduces the oral absorption that's why don't give uh, the ciprofloxacin along with the antacids it elevates the serum levels of theophylline warfarin glibenclamide and uh, yeah that ciprofloxacin is only the important the remaining all are not much important ofloxacin less active against uh, of uh, ciprofloxacin per gram negative and it is a equal or more potent than the ciprofloxacin per gram positive high lipid soluble very very important <coughs> which fluoxacin is highly soluble lipid soluble and highly oral bioavailability is ofloxacin largely excreted in the urine levofloxacin name itself indicate levo it is a levo rotatory dextro rotatory two rotatory levo rotatory is very active not the dextro rotatory so there is no word of dextrofloxacin levofloxacin is very important equal or more potent than the ciprofloxacin per gram positive is a highly lipid soluble this is also highly oral bioavailability largely excreted in you here you can see the ofloxacin tablet levofloxacin tablets norfloxacin tablets uh, pefloxacin tablets it is a less potent norfloxacin not recommended for uh, any system infections or respiratory and uh, pefloxacin it is a methyl derivative of norfloxacin this is also appeared in gpat examination highly lipid soluble absorbs completely orally better tissue penetration now other fluoroquinolones are lomifloxacin sparfloxacin gadifloxacin moxi etc are there okay so i will end my session here this is more than enough for all dpharmacy dpharmacy more than enough for your regular examination i will end my session here